are men the prize? Has there ever been a point in time where a man could be considered to be the prize? I say, nay, men obviously disagree. And I find it laughable. Um, you are allowed to believe your truth and I am allowed to think that your truth is clinically insane. Um, but let's read this together, shall we? Um, you're hilarious. Now this is a video where I was genuinely being hilarious. Do I remember exactly what it was? No, doesn't matter. I'm hilarious. Thank you. Um, when you said that you would fight, uh, I can't remember which video this is, um, but I don't use, oh, this is about me talking about how I'm done with dating apps. I'm done with dating apps. I will not be using dating apps in 2024, um, but I don't use dating apps and always prefer natural encounters. And you said that some men think that they are the prize. Whoever has the most value in the situation is the prize. Not to be arrogant, but I think I am just as or more attractive than you. All right. Um, people literally ask me to model their products and clothes for them. Okay. Does that happen for you? That's just one example, but sometimes the man is more attractive, valuable, and is the catch. So why wouldn't we act like it? I literally have been a paid model for Sarah V and L'Oreal. <laughs> like men are really funny. Like they're really funny. And if like they weren't being divas in the same process, there's a very well-paying comedy career that is in the ranks for you guys. But like, it was people literally paid me for my face and my hair for years. Before I became a journalist, that was like my job. I continue on to say, but even for the women that don't have that experience, I will never consider any man to be the prize dot dot dot. It's true. It doesn't matter if you were a paid model or not. It doesn't matter if you were like, no man will ever be the prize in my eyes. And honestly, for any sane person, a man could never be the prize. And I think that it's funny that there's an increased group of these men that really want to be treated like they're like women. <laughs> it's, it's fascinating. I saw a video yesterday um, and I thought that I saved it, but I didn't. But it was this guy who is an Arab man talking to his non-Arab friend about the, the date that the friend went on. And the friend was like, oh my gosh, I went on this great date. The girl was amazing. I'm so excited for us to see each other again. And then the Arab guy was like, oh my gosh, tell me about it. Like, I'm so excited to hear that you're excited about this girl. And then this his friend proceeded to talk about how, you know, the girl picked him up from his house and the guy was like, well, why didn't you go and pick her up? And he was like, that'd be a waste of gas. To which the friend was immediately like, oh. And I was like, right. But he was like, you know what? Maybe like the date's gonna turn around. The guy proceeds to talk about this date and says how like she opened the door for him and how she paid for the bill and how, you know, she dropped him off back at the house. And the guy was like, did she slap you on the butt too and tell you you're pretty? Like, <laughs> like that's how, that's the energy that it gives off about how y'all want to be treated. And like, I'm straight, I don't want a girlfriend. You know, like I have my girlfriends, but like, I don't want a girlfriend. And I think that the the notion of guys in general thinking that they're the prize is really also being proven incorrect in like what society is doing right now, right? Like look at all these male dominated societies and look at what ha what's happening to the world around us. You see what happened when like men are in charge. We're surrounded by war, destruction, global warming capitalism, terrible things that affect everybody and makes everybody's life significantly worse, right? Like I, yeah, there could be like, I, there's attractive guys out there, doesn't make you the prize. Like build society, you know? <laughs> like do something, do something to like as a whole, you know? Not just like as an individual, like women grow things, whether women or like people with uteruses, um, want to or not they naturally grow things if you have a uterus you could literally grow a person you like find a house and you literally you truly make it a home i can count on this many hands the amount of guys that i've dated that i walk into their house and i go wow this feels like a home <laughs> like it y'all just find somewhere to live and i'm like this is this is giving the pro and it's not i'm not just talking about like 
individuals. I'm talking about y'all as a whole. I, 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 it really baffles me when men think that they're the prize. And you know what? Honestly, I want you guys to keep saying it. I want all of you to keep saying it when you're on dates with women, when you talk to women, because women need to hear these thoughts. So that way they can make fully informed decisions about when to leave you. Please keep sharing your truth. And you know what? There might be some woman out there that would really like to take care of the pretty princess that shared, that feels like they are the prize. There are some women out there that really want. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say the name. I'm not going to say the name. I got in trouble on TikTok because I said it and it's fine. Um, but there's some women out there that really want the prize, the man that thinks that he's the prize, right? Um, with all of that, you know, like she, she wants to wear the pants in the relationship and she wants to feel like she wears the pants in the relationship. There's nothing wrong with that. There's, there's a shoe for every foot. And unfortunately, I don't think that the guys that think that they are the prize want the women that want to treat them like they're the prize because the women that want to treat them like they're the prize or have no problem wearing the pants in the relationship in fact they want to wear the pants in the relationship they have proven that they can they pre they have proven that they should and they just want they just want a, a trophy husband don't say anything pretty just sit there you know I got, I got the door for you i got the bill i got the everything just shh. like it's giving princella oh the more i talk about this the more i feel like i'm channeling princella <laughs> Oh man, that woman is a force to be reckoned with. I looked at her birth chart and I found it. She is a force. I stand her. Does she say some things that make me go, what? about the trans community? Yes. Um, do I still hear her in my head when men talk consistently? Absolutely. Absolutely is what it is. She's, I have yet to feel like she's been proven wrong. I'm yet to see her be proven wrong, especially when she's talking to a man. Also, in diving back to that comment, I'm curious. When I say I'm curious, like I'm not actually curious. I just find it fascinating. I say I'm curious because I'm a journalist. I'm supposed to be curious. It's, it comes with the territory, right? Um, but when, you, when this commenter said that whoever has the most value in the relationship is the person that's the prize. The woman always has the most value. Wars were committed because of Helen of Troy. Thousands slaughtered because men understood that she was the prize. Cleopatra, like we think of, yes, a powerful military general, ruler of Egypt, goddess, goddess made flesh. She knew she was the prize. Yeah, she got a little, she got a little about a man. She got a little about a man. Ah, oh, did it lead to her demise? Maybe. Now, is that a cautionary tale? I think so. I think so. Um, but when it comes to the most value, one, I hate phrases like that because it's giving slavery. And this is Black History Month. We don't need to be talking about how valuable a person is. And it's always like extra weird when a black man talks about it, which I'm assuming this person is. I mean, maybe their profile image is or is not them. Who knows? But like, ooh, it's, it's giving stand up on the auction block and dance for me, you know? And I'm like, mm, can we not? Like, please evolve, you know? But if we must, let's talk about it. Um, women grow things. Yeah, like children and all of that, but we also grow community. Like, if there's one thing that women innately know how to do, it's build community. And what is something that men internationally are suffering with? Being alone and lonely. When it comes to the value of soft skills, communication, community building, um, emotional availability, emotional language, women have them. Arguably, we've been socialized to be we've been socialized to be experts in them from a very long time. Not just because of our 
the, the necessity of them to be able to navigate men and survive y'all but also a lot of it is just in us too so we really it's 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 a soft skill that a lot of like you see it very often in little girls you know um they have talk to an elementary school teacher talk to a pre-k pre-k teacher my best friend is a pre-k teacher she t- she gives me all the tea she gives me all the tea so there's that right but then also when you're thinking about like value as it comes to finances as it comes to money women are grossly out earning men grossly out earning men um by and large don't believe me let's look at a stat a study by cnbc women are now out earning or making the same as their husbands in nearly half of all of marriages let's read a little bit right at the top in almost half of opposite sex marriages in the u.s women are now earning the same as their husbands or out earning them by an average of fifty three thousand dollars Although men are still the breadwinners in most households, the share of women making just as much or more than their husbands has nearly tripled in the last 50 years, the Pew Research Center has found. So when it comes to growth, women are also growing in that also. It's, it's, so yeah. Um, And even in the comment that you had, I found it interesting that like, it's like a microcosm of this greater hilarity, right? Because you say that people approach you. You know what? Let me read it word for word. Not to be arrogant, but I think I am just as or more attractive than you. People literally ask me to model their products and clothes for them. Does that happen to you? Like, if anybody just scrolls through my Instagram, you'll see that I was a paid model for years. Like, I've been in magazines, Mary Claire magazine, look it up. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. like, it's genuinely very funny. Like, I'm. it's nice to know that you think that you're attractive. It's not arrogant to think that you're attractive. It is slightly delusional to think that you're more attractive than me because the facts are speaking for themselves. Like, yeah, people ask me to, like, wear their stuff pretty consistently. I won't do it for free. Um, yeah. And it's this mentality that a lot of men have when it comes to, like when you read all of the, the, oh, my husband wanted to open up the marriage and I agreed and now I'm getting slammed consistently and he's sad and wants to close the marriage. It's that. It's the same mentality of men thinking that they are the prize, that their value only goes up over time, that, oh, I, and everybody can see it. And then reality kicks in. And then they're like, oh my God, I need to backtrack. I need to, wife, I take everything back. You stay here and now wife realizes because of whatever's been going on in the house, whether he's been mean to her, whether he's been withholding affection, whether da 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 da. Now she remembers that she is the prize. And while her husband might not see it, every other man outside of them clearly recognizes it. And now she's back in her full power. And how the story 10 times out of 10 goes is she says, no, I'm the captain now. (laughs) And it always makes me giggle every time. It's like a Hallmark movie where you know how it's going to end, but just sit there and watch it all the way through because you're going to smile at the end regardless. Because she's going to most of the time say, if you would like to remain married to me, this marriage is staying open. And now I make the You can close it on your end. You can keep it open, whatever you want. I am having the time of my life and I'm going to go hang out with my boyfriend. I'll see you at home for dinner tomorrow. Like, I live for it every time. God, I feel giddy now talking about it. So yeah, I encourage men that feel like they are the prize to act like they're the prize. Do it. Do it immediately. And then the people that you attract that choose to stay in relationship with you, they will treat you how you would like to be treated. 
like a princess. I also want to be treated like a princess. So like literally, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Um, and also I do not accept anything less than princess treatment from the men that approach me and not want to date me and want to court me and whatnot. So we're in the same boat. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I just also know that the men that want to treat me like a pretty princess are very different than the women that want to treat you like a pretty princess. And that's just the reality of it. Listen, I'm not your type, you're not my type, and I'm not talking about the commenter. Any of the men that feel like they're the prize. I'm not your type. And I'm not even talking like physically. Like, women like me are not your type. And that's fine. And that's fine. You stay gorgeous. Post your get ready with me. It's like, show, show, show off the vacations that your lady takes you out on. And I'm not saying that condescendingly. Like, do it. Like, if you're going to do it, stand ten toes down. She takes you on a shopping spree? You post her with her card. I want to see copy and paste material from... Because when I see those kind of shopping sprees for the women that are out with their provider men, oh, they're posting them. They're posting them. They're saying, my man, my man, my man. You see his hand on the card. You see him driving. You see him holding her bags. And I'm like, yes, queen, I want to see the same inverted. Keep that energy. That's all I'm saying. And I think we're on the same page. Do you disagree? If you disagree, I genuinely don't care. But um, yeah, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, bye.